The tasks tool from your main navigation in JobTread gives you all of your tasks from all your jobs, your customer accounts, your vendor accounts, and even just your organization tasks in one place. So when you first go to your task tool, you're most likely going to see your incomplete tasks. And this is a full list of all of the tasks from anywhere in JobTread that are assigned to you that are incomplete. Now you can leverage these filters on the top toolbar here to view your tasks in various ways. So I could view this in a month view as well, and this will show me all my incomplete tasks across the system in a month view. And then I also can sort by particular um, dates, and then I can choose whose tasks I'd like to see. So let's go into the list view again, and then maybe I want to view my supervisor's tasks as well on here. And now I can see across the whole system any tasks that are assigned to myself or to Eric, my supervisor. Now, once you select whose assigned tasks you're viewing, you can then also sync this to one of your calendaring apps, such as your Google Calendar, your Apple Calendar, even your Outlook Calendar as well. So all you need to do is select whose tasks you want to appear on your calendaring app. So I'm just gonna select mine only and then I'll click calendar URL. Here's where I can copy this URL and then I can subscribe to this particular task list in one of my calendaring apps. Now note that your calendar, calendaring apps do have very specific sync times and it varies based on the calendaring app that you're using. Apple Cal tends to be the fastest sync time. Google Calendar can actually be a pretty fast sync time, but it could take a few hours for changes to be reflected within those calendaring apps. Now Outlook Calendar does take a little bit longer, so keep that in mind as you're selecting the calendaring app that you'd like to use. Now, if I were to say I want to view all assignments, so everyone in my company and all of their tasks, I can then click on the calendar URL and then I can even pull all the tasks across my company or just tasks assigned to one or multiple people in the company over to my calendar. Additionally, within your task tool, you can view other tasks as well based on task types. So here, if I just want to select, you know, all of the tasks that have to do with design, I can view those and then maybe also just any general tasks as well and maybe any office work tasks. Now you're choosing exactly what you're seeing on this particular screen. If you like what this looks like, you can go ahead and save this view so you can visit it at any time. Just click on this gear icon and now you can see that the filters carried over, but there are some additional filters and grouping options as well. You can also include a date range if you'd like to. And then when you're ready, save as, and you can save this as a new view for yourself. So in this case, I might say um, all of our office tasks that are incomplete because I've chosen just to see my incomplete tasks and then I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a new view. Now you'll notice that that is going to always land here in your personal views, or if you'd like to convert it to an organization view, it can pop down into your organization views that are shared with everyone in your company. And then you can visit this view at any time. As you can see on here, I have several views that I've created to show me my calendaring and task data in whatever way I would like to. Other cool views here could be your Gantt view. Your Gantt view on your task tool will actually show you all of the jobs that you have access to and their job schedules. And so you can see when they're starting and when they're ending. In fact, you can even expand them if you'd like to, to view the specific tasks within those jobs and compare them to other jobs as you need to. Additionally, if you are viewing the Gantt view here, and you choose to group by assignee, you can actually view a heat map of all of the tasks that are assigned to everyone within your company or any of your external vendors as well. This heat map is gonna show you the uh, workload for each of your employees relative to their standard workload. So for myself, any high number like 17, 15, and 16 here, that's gonna be the darkest color. Those are blue because they're upcoming tasks and any red are incomplete past due tasks. 
As I have, you know, days that are a little bit lighter, such as three or two tasks, maybe even one, that's going to show me that my workload is really light those days relative to my typical workload. And so it's relative to each person's workload that they typically have. If you'd like to click on any of these days, let's say this really heavy workload day for me, 17 tasks on this day, then you can open up this drawer and view what those tasks are and maybe reassign them as you need to. I like to save this view as my uh, employee workload view. So again, all you need to do is click on that gear icon, make sure that the settings are where you like them to be, and then save as a new view so that again, you can view them at any time within your task tool. If you have any questions about leveraging the task tool from your main navigation, or if you have questions about setting up your task custom views, please contact your customer success manager or email support at jobtread.com.